Well, good morning. Uh, moving on on the 2001 RXDI. Uh, I took it up the hill yesterday and pressure washed it all out. That makes such a huge difference inside the hull. It's not mint by any means. Got a little bit of more water to get out, but at least that makes it much nicer to work on. Uh, didn't lose any of the markings or anything like that. So I'm just going to dry this up and get her ready for reassembly. But obviously we have to fix the engine first. And that's where we found the catastrophic failure up here in the crank. I'm hoping that that I can fix that counterbalance, sorry not crank, counterbalance. So I've got to disassemble this thing this morning and see what's going on so that we know what we can salvage and what else I have to replace. So <clears throat> I'm thinking uh, we tear this down all the way, get that counterbalance out and have a look. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the sear clips on the pistons and get those out of there, hopefully fairly easy. I don't like the way that they put those clips in. Usually you can pry right here. I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good, it doesn't want to come out. <clears throat> Caught it. And we'll see if we can knock the wrist pin out. Wrong way. And out she comes. One. Okay, take the clip out this side, the pin goes that way. Beautiful. Couple cages. And now we'll pull the mag cover. I just pulled that bolt out. And we got to cut the oil lines. And this gets messy. And right here on the side of the case is a place to get a big flat blade in there and just easily pry that open. I also put these three wires through the uh, pipes through the uh, engine mount and zip tied them because they'll want to flip upside down and spray all over. And the magnet is holding that in pretty good. Yeah, a little cruddy inside there too. Uh, at least that's there. Looks like this thing sat underwater. See if we can clean all that stuff up. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Look at this. Okay. Continuing on, see if we get the flywheel off. It's 
size is that? 30? Inch and a 16. It should be a washer, which there is, and a puller. Wow. Looks pretty rusty. And flywheel puller. Got that from Watercraft Superstore as well. It's on there pretty good. This is reverse thread. Twenty one. <laughs> that came off nice. Okay. Well, that's cool. That thing was worth its weight in gold. Lots of cleaning to do there. Next, we'll roll her around. I guess we'll take the bracket off. Ray valves out. Yeah, let me get some sockets. Lock That's a bracket. There's a bolt missing there at the bottom. That's a different bolt. Stuck in there. No. They look okay. Uh, again, another cleanup. This thing sometimes will fight you. Looks good. Get that out of the way. And big screwdriver. Starter looks fairly new. We'll test that too. Starter gone. That's going to need some lubing and some cleaning. 13 mil. Oh, all different lengths, triple washers. I got a drawer full of parts for this, so.
ました。Okay, that's gone. Now we can flip it over and split the case. Get all the bolts out. Got a reducer. I think I need some more air. Gotta be loud. loud. That's all of them. Okay, let's see. Can we split the case now? I think we can. Got pride points on that side. Is there any on this side? I can't remember. I don't think so. Big screwdriver. Where are you? And there should be one there. That looks like there's a bolt there. Always miss one. <laughs> Need more air. She's coming. Uh huh. And the big reveal. <laughs> There's our counterbalance. Something bad is here, looks like. I think. I don't know. Metal. Spins pretty smooth. Might be okay. Except I gotta get the bolt out. Mm -mm. I think we're gonna kiss this one goodbye. Look at the play. Dang. Like it. She's done. Let's call this one done. Bolt sheared off. Okay, gonna order another one of those. It adds up quick sometimes when you get into this. 
So that case is done. And the crank. Oh yeah, we got some caps. We'll see how those uh, seals look. Maybe. Another ugly case. Throw those out. Ugh. Don't like the sound of that either. I do have another crank. Everything else on it is good, but. to think about that one. Sounds pretty crunchy, I don't know. You hear the difference? No, I don't like the sound of it. Well, let's think on that one for a minute. I don't think so. So, I'm gonna put a new crank in it, which I have. Maybe I'll see if I can pull those outer bearings. Inner bearings are good, seals are good. So that crank is still good. The, all, everything else is just fine. All the connecting rods, everything, there's no play, no up, down, nothing. So we'll put a new crank in this one and then we'll mess with that in the summer about try changing the bearings just for fun. All right, well. I guess we know now, so now I need a new water box. I need a counterbalance, and of course the crank we have. So I'm gonna go online, order that stuff up, and in the next video, we will put everything back together. In the meantime, thanks for watching.